السلام علیکم یورس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از میٹرکس واٹ از میٹرکس اے ریکٹینگل ارے اور اے فارمیشن آف اے کلیکشن آف ریئل نمبر سے زیرو ون ٹو تھری فور اینڈ سیون سچ ایز ون تھری فور سیون ٹو زیرو اینڈ دین انکلوز بائی بریکٹس از سیٹ ٹو فارم اے میٹرکس This is called matrix. Okay. Similarly, this is also called another matrix. Now, I will tell you what is row and uh, column of a matrix. Now, look at this matrix. If the entries are represented in horizontal way, are called row. If the uh, entries are represented in horizontal way, then the entries, this is called row. This is called row. So here it is R1. Okay. Now look at this. This is row 2. Second row means. And this one is. row 3 r3 so this is row of a matrix these are the rows of the matrix and now look at this matrix now look at this matrix if the entries are represented in vertical way in vertical way so these are called columns so here it is C1. Here it is C2. Means column 2. Here it is C3. Means column 3. Okay. Now next is order of a matrix. The number of rows and column in a matrix specifies its order. If a matrix M has M rows and N columns, then M is said to be of order M by N. Okay. Now look at the example. It will be, this definition will be more clear with example. Here we have matrix M is equal to, this is our matrix. Now first of all you have to see, as I told you, if the entries are represented in horizontal way, these are called rows. So, how many rows are here? One and two rows. Two rows. We have two rows. Okay. And how many columns? One, two, three. So, two by three is its order. Is that clear? First of all, you have to see how many rows are here. Two rows. Uh, you have to write two here. Multiply by M by N. Okay. So, two by three. We can write its order here also. How many columns? One, two, three columns. So, two by three is its order. Now look here, next we have equal matrix. Let A and B be two matrices, then A is said to be equal to B and denoted, denoted by A is equal to B if. This if means if and only if. Means th these two conditions must be satisfied. The first condition is the order of A is equal to order of B. And second condition is their corresponding entries are equal. Their corresponding entries must be equal. Okay. If these condi uh, two conditions are satisfied, then two matrices are equal. Otherwise, not. Now, look at this example. Here, uh, first of all, we have to see its order. How many rows we have? Two rows. So, two and how many column? 1, 2 column. So 2 by 3 is its order. Now look at this. 
don't get confused from this equation just you have to solve this first what you will get here 1 2 plus 1 3 and minus 4 and 4 minus 2 2 now close the bracket so b is equal to this now you have to see what is the order of this matrix how many rows 1 2 rows 2 by 3 oh sorry 2 by 2 2 rows here 2 columns and here it is also 2 2 by 2 2 rows and 2 columns ok so 2 by 2 here it is also 2 by 2 now next what we have to see we have to see that corresponding entries are equal or not it means here it, if it is 1 here must be 1 here it is 3, here it is 3. Here it is minus 4 and here it is minus 4. Here it is 2, here it is 2. So corresponding entries are also equal. So in this example we have A is equal to B. Now look at this example. First of all we have to check the order. How many rows? 1, 2. It's 2 by how many columns? 2 columns. So its order is 2 by 2. Now look at this. Here it is also 2, column, uh, two rows by 2 columns. 2 by 2. Its order is 2 by 2 and its order is also 2 by 2. Now next we have to check the entries. That corresponding entries are equal or not. Now look here, what we have here, here it is 2, here it is 2, here it is 3, here it is 3, here it is minus 1, here it is minus 1, but here we have 2 and here it is minus 2. So, if one of the corresponding entry is not equal, so um, whole matrices are not equal. First condition is satisfied, that order is same. But second condition is not satisfied. Their corresponding entries are not equal. So L is not equal to M. Now next uh, look at the exercise. Exercise 1.1. Find the order of the following matrices. Now we have to find the order of the matrix. First we have to see that how many rows are here, 2 rows and 2 columns. So its order is, so its order is 2 by 2. Now look here, how many rows, 1, 2, 3, 3 rows and how many columns, 1 column here, 3 by 1. Now look at this, how many rows, 1, 2, 2 rows and 1, 2, 3, 3 columns. So this is the order of this matrix, this is the order of this matrix and this is the order of this matrix. Now look at question number 2, which of the following matrices are equal? Now you have to remember the um, definition of equal matrix. What, what is that? That uh, order of two matrices must be same and entry, corresponding entries must be equal. Now which two matrices are equal? Now look here. You have to solve this first. C is equal to 3. 5 minus 2, 3 and here H is equal to 4, 3 minus 3, 0 and 6 and 2. Now you have to see which two matrices are equal. Here its order is 1 by 1, 1 row and 1 column. Its order is 1 by 1. 
its order is 1 by 1 and its order is also 1 by 1 its order is 2 by 2 and its order is also 2 by 2 now next we have to check the entries that corresponding entries are equal or not here we have 3 and here it is also 3 so these two matrices are equal now look here and here its order is 2 by 2 its order is 2 by 2 and look at the entries first 4 4 0 0 6 6 2 2 so entries are also same so these two matrices are equal now next look at this example oh sorry question find the value of a b c and d which satisfy the matrix equation now look at this question we have to find the values of a b c and d okay for this as we know for uh, from the definition of equal matrix that corresponding entries are equal so we can write here a plus c is equal to 0 a plus 2b a plus 2b is equal to minus 7 C minus 1 is equal to 3. 4D minus 6 is equal to 2D. Now we get these four equations. We can name them like this 1, 2, 3 and 4 here we have these four equations now look here from equation 3 we can easily find the value of C what we have here C minus 1 is equal to 3 we have C minus 1 is equal to 3 from equation 3. Now we will move this one to this side, it will become plus. What we have 3 plus 1, so value of C is equal to 4. Okay, what is the value of C? Value of C is equal to now next we have we can see from this equation that which value we can find now we will choose equation number 4 we can also easily find value of d from this equation as we have same as we have here same terms so from equation 4 we will write here from equation 4 what we have 4d minus 6 is equal to 4d minus 6 is equal to 2d so now we have to move the like terms here what we have 4d here we have plus sign so when we will move it here it will become minus sign here minus 2d and we have to move this to this side and it will become plus 6 4d minus 2d will become 2d is equal to 6 so as this 2 is multiplying here so when we will move this to this side it will divide here so we will get 6 divided by 2 and our answer is 3 from this we get value d is equal to 3
now next we have to find the value of a and b can you see as we know the value of c so we can easily find value of a from this equation by putting value of c now look here from equation 1 what we have a plus c is equal to 0 a plus c is equal to 0 now from here we will put the value of c here what is the value of c it is 4 now we will move this 4 to this side it will become 0 minus 4 and here we have minus 4 so value of a is minus 4 now next we have to find the value of b now look at this equation as we know the value of a also so we can easily find value of b from this equation from equation 2 from equation 2 what we have here a plus 2b a plus 2b is equal to minus 7 now look here what we have what is the value of a minus 4 plus 2b is equal to minus 7 now we will move this 4 to this side we are left with here 2b and minus 4 this minus sign will become plus to this side b is equal to 2b is equal to now plus minus it means we have to do subtraction and 7 minus 4 is 3 and sign of bigger number will come here so it is minus now b is equal to minus 2 minus 3 divided by 2 so this is the value of b ok can you see what we have to find find value of a b c and d here we get value of c d a and b thanks for watching please like my video share it as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe my channel